How's it going? Good. Have you been outside yet? No. It's intense. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> My like back alley like, wasn't plowed yet and there was like two cars stuck in like both the exits. So I sat there <laughs> and like people were trying to push them like nothing's been plowed. It's crazy. Yeah, I didn't. I was like, I just don't think I'm going to. I can see people on the street like just yeah. getting stuck. The road is like this, but the cars are like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad's is like two minutes away, so I ventured out, but otherwise I definitely was not going anywhere. <laughs> That's crazy. At least you made it okay. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty eventful. It was pretty funny. I can't imagine they won't start plowing until like later this afternoon. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. Because it's still it's snowing, right? Yeah, it's a lot of snow. It's crazy. Yeah. Ross, how's it going? Going fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing good, thanks. Short sleeve today. Me? I'm like, I'm already freezing, to be honest. I'm really excited for us to get moving. <laughs> uh, in terms of like equipment and stuff today, um, you might benefit from a box if you end up doing the variation that way. So have like a chair or a bench handy. Aside from that, just like a, a dumbbell or kettlebell because we do have some like prisoner good mornings again but aside from that that's i think it how are you i'm doing good how are you john good thanks good hi t how's it going good how's you guys Good, good. No, you're not muted. <laughs> Things are going good. How are you doing? Good. What's new? What's new? It's workout number two. Oh, I know. You're it's crushing workout it. Workout number two. I'm, uh, I'm very impressed by you pulling a double today. Well, I got to work tomorrow. That's true. Get yeah, it in when you can. All right, guys, that is noon. I think we are still, oh, there's Brian. Hi, Jess. Hi, how's it going? Pretty good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. I believe this is everybody for today. So I am just going to quickly mute everyone, make sure we are ready to rock, and we will get started. So for warm up today, we are going to do an EMOM. So I will have the timer going for us. We've got three different movements that we're going to do for three sets. First of which is going to be 45 seconds worth of jumping jacks. Following that, we have 40 seconds of a glute bridge march, which I'll show you that when we get there. And then we have some pike shoulder chops. So if you just hopped in and you didn't hear me, you might benefit from a bench, a box, chair, something like that. I'm going to show the versions with that, but if they're too intense for you, of course, don't do them because I'll be showing the kind of less intense variation. So really quick, we'll go over our movements. <clears throat> Although you might know some of them already. Jumping jacks. We all know that one. The glute bridge march. We're literally marching our feet. Try and keep your hips up and place your foot in the same spot every single time. And then lastly, 
The Pike shoulder traps, honestly, they're super intense. I personally think they're a little intense for warm up. I'll show you them anyways if you want to do them. To be honest, I'm probably not going to do them. So, <clears throat> feet are up on your box. You're going to find your pike position, and then you're literally tapping shoulders. I think that's a little much for a warm up, to be honest. So, Conversely, you want to keep the pike position. You can do it just from the feet if you have some good hamstring range of motion. Or conversely, just regular plank shoulder taps I think would be suitable. So you can decide where you're at. Like I said, every minute on the minute, it's going to be 40 seconds jacks, 40 seconds march, 20 total. So 10 aside of whatever kind of shoulder tap you're doing. All right. So I'm going to do it with you guys. We're going to start with the jacks in three, two, and go. So we have 40 seconds worth. If you would prefer me put the timer on the screen, you let me know. Otherwise, we all get to listen to me breathe. <laughs> About 15 seconds. We'll have 20 rest before we move on. In three, two, resting. Alrighty, come down to the floor. About 10 seconds. We will have 40 seconds worth of our glute bridge march. Make sure you alternate each time. In three, two, hips up and marching. Do whatever is comfortable with those hands if you prefer them out to the side. For some reason, mine always rests on my forehead. Like I said, try and put your foot down in the exact same place as you picked it up from, keeping those hips high. We have approximately 10 seconds left here. In three, two, resting. Okay, so next up is whichever kind of shoulder tap variation you're working through. You need 10 aside for whatever you're doing. And we will get started in about five seconds. In three, two, and go. Try and keep some control here. It's not a race. Once you're finished those, we're resting. We're gonna be back to our jacks in about 30 seconds. Did anyone do our super intense version with our feet elevated? <laughs> Thank. Yeah, it's a little much for a warm up. It's definitely a good amount of work, but in about 10 seconds, oh God, the wall's there, easy. In five, back to jacks. Three, two, and 40 seconds. Awesome guys, looking good. Just finding the pace. In 10 seconds. Three, two, and resting. We'll be back down to the floor. Glute bridge march. In about 10 seconds. 
in five, three, two, hips up, and we are marching. Good, looking for control here as well, not speed. Doing great guys, looking good. Just over 10 seconds. In three, two, for resting. Back to shoulder taps in about 15. I'm gonna stick with the pike ones. I kind of like those. They're fun. In five, three, two, and shoulder taps. So resting, we have about 35 seconds or so before we do our final set. With this big uh, dump of snow, it's kind of convenient that most are working from home these days. <laughs> Kels and I were chatting about uh, all the cars we've seen stuck already today. I haven't left my house, so I get to watch from the street. So good times. <laughs> In about five seconds, we're back to our jacks. In three, two, and go. Have guys 15 seconds in five three two and rest coming back down just over 10 seconds glute bridge march for 40 seconds In three, two, hips up and marching. Looking good guys, just finding a pace. Moving with control. We have 15 seconds. Last five, in three, two, take a rest. We have our final minute remaining. About five seconds, we've got our shoulder tops. In three, two, tapping those shoulders, whichever version you're working through. Alrighty, when you are finished, take a break, grab a drink. I will throw our circuit up on our screen share. Alrighty, so <clears throat> we are going to work through a 25 minute AMRAP. So as many rounds as you can. There are five different exercises and some have tempo. So 
So we'll have to be a little bit mindful of that. For our first exercise, we have six to eight reps of a pike push-up. It does say negative there, but that just means that we're going to focus on the eccentric phase, which means we're going to do four seconds nice and slow down before we either use assistance to get ourselves back up or move a little bit explosively. The single leg cross body cone toss, 10 to 12 per side, three seconds down as well. That one is basically a single leg deadlift. Following that, feet elevated glute bridge, so that reverse hip thrust. They'll use a boxer chair if you have one accessible, four seconds down, explosive transition up, 10 to 12 reps. We have the prisoner good mornings, 12 reps, three seconds on the way down. If you have a goblet or a goblet, a dumbbell or kettlebell you want to hold in a goblet here, feel free to do that. And then lastly, we have 15 no tempo bent over Cuban presses. So let's go over what all those look like quickly. And then we will start our timer for 25 minutes. Everyone's just going to work at their own pace. So starting us off the pike push up. So you can have your feet elevated how I did in the warm up. That's not going, how I'm going to demo because it takes me a hot minute to get into there. But essentially you're going to be here and you're doing push-ups like so. And then remember it's four seconds. One, two, three, four, before we press back up. Only six to eight reps on that one. 10 to 12 on our single leg cone touch. You're just gonna imagine that there's a cone out in front of you. Two, three, pretending you're touching the cone. So here you can either do all one side, then the other, or alternate every time, whichever you prefer. But I do want the tempo. Following that, reverse hip thrust. Yes. You will have your feet elevated for that one. I hope everyone can see me. I'll rotate a little. Normal glute bridge. One, two, three, four. Hips up. Three, four. If you want to make that a little more challenging, you can add a dumbbell or mini bench just above the knees. Fourth movement, the prisoner good mornings. If you are doing prisoner, hands are here. Feet are hip width apart. One, two, three, and driving back up. And then lastly, our Cuban press. If you remember, normally a Cuban press, you would come here, flip, and then press. Oh, I didn't switch my camera. I'm so sorry, you guys. Hope you can see me. When we're doing it in a bent over position, chest will be down and your starting position is going to be here. You're gonna flip, press up, back down, flip, press up, like so. Does that make sense to everybody? Yes? Okay. So I will start the timer in the background. I am gonna put the workout up on the screen share just because it's kind of a complex one today. I will be doing it alongside you if you need any modifications though. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get started in just one sec. So we're starting with the pike push-ups. Where is that timer? I just deleted our timer, my God. Oh my goodness, total malfunction. When this runs out, I'm gonna give you an extra five minutes as I work. <laughs> okay, six to eight reps, four seconds down in the pike push-up in three, two, and go. So you can do feet elevated or you can choose not to, whichever you prefer. It's trying to emphasize keeping that four seconds on the way down. If this does not feel good for you, particularly the pike position, I just want you to do normal push-ups with the four seconds on the way down. Awesome, looking good guys. Once you have finished that, you're going to work through the single leg deadlifts or single leg cone touch, three seconds on the way down with 10 to 12 reps. There we go, I'm sorry, I was trying to work on fixing my camera and whatnot. Because this version is basically a single leg deadlift, if you wanna add any dumbbells or anything here, if you have available, please feel free. 
if you only have a minivan, but you still wanna make it more challenging, you can tuck your minivan under the foot and use it as resistance. I can show that version. Just keeping that tempo 10 to 12 per side. I want to make sure we keep a nice neutral spine here, shoulders down and back, back is flat. Do not want any rounding. Once you have worked through those, which I'm sure we're getting there, we have a reverse hip thrust. So if you've got it, I would toss on a mini band. I love a good mini band exercise or dumbbell, like I said. I believe we have 10 to 12 reps as well. Let me double check. Yeah, 10 to 12, four seconds down. Wanna well, make sure your knees are driving out and away from the midline. Nice, slow, four seconds before we press and drive up. Try and move explosively. As soon as that butt touches the floor, why don't you drive up as quick as you can. Looking good, everybody, just breathing. And our 25 minutes is totally at your own pace. So move as quickly or as slowly as you need to. Yeah, really start to feel the hamstrings and glutes burning on this one. Once you've done your 10 to 12, you're gonna ditch your mini band, if you had one, we have our prisoner good mornings. Those are also going to be a three second eccentric tempo. <gasps> Thank you to whoever wrote on the screen share. I love it. <laughs> RDL, I'm with you. Um, yes, three second tempo on the good morning for 12 reps. No range there. You guys are hilarious. Remember, we're only hinging until we really feel those hamstrings start to talk. Then we're coming back up. Try and use the glutes and low back to bring you back up out of that hinge and move explosively on the drive. Just gonna make sure we're all doing all right. Perfect, good. Now I'm curious, was that RDL written in like, you got a pen going on, is that finger magic? I mean, I'm impressed either way. Very good handwriting. I don't know about you guys, but I'm terrible at writing on screens, anything that's digital where it's like sign here. This isn't gonna be good. Once you finish all of your prisoner good mornings, we have our last exercise, which is going to be our bent over Cuban press. Nice, Tanya, that's perfect. Good job, we're gonna keep our hinge. Once you've got your elbows up, you're simply gonna flip those hands, press out overhead, flip the hands back and back and overhead. We have 15 here, no tempo, but try and test that range here. Our palms are going to stay down the whole time. I know sometimes in our bent over wide position, we bring our thumbs up. We don't want that this time, keep it palms down. Oh, our RDL is gone. You guys don't have to be shy. We're all a team. <laughs> Once you've finished all your bent over keeping process, we are back to the top, everybody. We've got our pike push ups with the four second eccentric, six to eight reps. Let's have a peek at our time. All right, all right, about five minutes. So, in total, we're gonna be looking at about five rounds, roughly. Let's bring our workout back up, there we go. Good, nice. And you can definitely add dumbbells to that uh, cube and press if you feel like it's manageable. I personally think it's a bit of a, 
a mobility style exercise rather than strength. Oh my God, it's John writing. I love it. Yes, I can definitely re-demo the bent over Cuban press. You're gonna find your hinge. You're gonna bring your elbows up and then that's our start position. So you'll rotate overhead, back to here, down, rotate, overhead, like so for 15 reps. Alrighty, we'll pop our screen share back up. And if you need demo requests, message me. We got lots of time to work through today, everybody. We've got our cone touches or RDLs after that. Trying for three seconds on the way down. Don't kick anything. <laughs> Find some balance. If you are still wearing your shoes like I am in your home, Feel free to ditch them. I find that uh, balance exercises go a lot more smoothly when you're barefoot and a little bit more grounded. Nice slow three seconds, 10 to 12 reps. If you're working on those um, single leg cone touches, maybe you have moved on to our reverse hip thrust or feet elevated glute bridge. Those are synonymous, same thing. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really feeling my hamstrings talking today. Remember when we're doing our single leg deadlifts, we wanna try and minimize opening or shifting through the hips. So we don't want our back leg coming out and up like that. We wanna keep our foot and toe pointed down toward the floor. It doesn't really matter how high your rear leg goes. It doesn't have to travel so that you're completely parallel to the floor, but you do wanna use it as a counterbalance as we shift and hinge the torso forward. Just those 10 to 12 there, and then we are moving into an explosive reverse hip thrust into four seconds eccentric on the way down. I believe we have 15 reps here. We'll double check. Oh, only 10 to 12 on that reverse hip thrust. Looking good, everybody. Good job, and when we're working through our good mornings, whether they are prisoner or goblet, we always wanna make sure that we have a nice neutral spine. So squeeze your lats tight, pull your shoulders down and back, stick your butt out as we hinge, and then come back up. It's especially important if you are holding something in a goblet position to keep those lats nice and tight. If you are using the prisoner hands, it opens the chest and kind of forces you to stay there naturally. So just be a little bit mindful if you are doing a weighted position. Nice slow three seconds on the prisoners. I believe we only have 12 reps. And then to finish off this round, we have our bent over Cuban presses, raises <laughs> for 15 reps as well. If you are adding weight to those Cuban presses, I would recommend very light, just like five, 10 pounds max. Nice, good work, you guys. Let's have a peek at our time. Oh, nice, getting down to it. Good job, you guys. So I keep breathing. We have lots of time to work through. Some of you have great mobility. I'm super impressed, particularly in these bent over Cuban presses. Races, I don't know. <laughs> I 
I personally think mine needs to improve. My chest is a little bit tight. Don't know if you guys are finding that, but I'm doing a lot of sitting and typing these days. We're getting a little rounded forward. So if you're done your Cuban presses, you're moving back to the top, or maybe you're somewhere in the middle. We do have the pike push-ups, six to eight reps, four seconds on the way down, nice and slow. Remember, if these pike ones are not feeling good for you, I would recommend just doing normal push-ups. I don't think we have other push-ups today, so you should be all right. Good job, guys. Just working through. Try and keeping our tempo, keeping, try keeping our tempo. I can speak, I promise. Try keeping our tempo for all of our movements. I know it's easy to start getting a little bit fast, but take a breath, slow things down. We do have a little bit more focus on tempo and moving more mindfully through the movements. Good job, everybody. Nice work on these single leg RDLs, guys. Awesome, everybody looking strong, just having a peek, making sure we're all moving well. If anyone needs me to take the screen share off or you don't want to see it anymore, just let me know. <clears throat> In terms of time, we have approximately, remember you got to tack five minutes onto that. We have 11 minutes remaining in this jumbo circuit before we are going to take a rest and move on to our second and final circuit. There's only two today, guys. I don't know if I already told you guys this, but I have a goal over this lockdown to like, to try and go for a walk like almost every day. I mean, I'm doing fairly well. I got in five last week and went for one yesterday, but uh, I am really contemplating whether or not I'm gonna bundle my ass up <laughs> to go outside today. I have the time, but am I a scaredy cat? That's the question. I think I should probably just do it. I mean, it doesn't seem that cold though, only like minus four or something, but it'd be the wind that's chilly. Looking strong, everybody, keep working through. Maybe you can add a band or a dumbbell to any of these movements, make it a little bit more challenging if you have it available. Another um, kind of like modification or variation of the prisoner good mornings too. If you have say a very large looped band and you wanna try and use that, you can put the band over your head and stand on it and then do your good mornings like that. I know that we've done that at our facility a couple of times. If you're not part of our facility, that is definitely an option. If you need a better demo, you let me know. <laughs> that is something you can do if you just want a different kind of varied resistance while we're working through these good mornings. Great job, you guys, looking strong. 
for time, we have about eight and a half minutes. Still lots to work through. Looks like most are finishing up that third round, likely into the fourth for some. I don't know if you guys noticed, but uh, Ollie hasn't been in our sessions the past couple of days because last week he bit me in the ankle on camera. Was not super okay with that. So he's been banished. It's like, I, I gave him a little lecture. I was like, you embarrassed me out there. <laughs> so his punishment now is to not be part of the action. Remember, our bent over Cuban press is the only movement that doesn't have tempo. You can just roll right through that one. Do the best that you can with your range of motion. Great job, guys. Keep it up. I am going to stay near our timer as we get close to that countdown because I deleted my one timer and we need to, I need to restart it. So bear with me. Doing great, guys. Awesome, neutral spines in both our single leg deadlift and the prisoner, good mornings. Perfect, keep it up. Nice, good job. Roz, I would probably try and tighten up your lats a little bit, really keep your shoulders pulled down and back and then hinge from there. Rest of the spine looks good. Little rounding upper back. Yeah, nice, that's much better, good job. And only because I can't tell with my camera and see you, just keep your knees a little bit soft. Yes, perfect, there you go, good. Coming down to our last minute. No, that's so wrong. <laughs> Six minutes, I'm so sorry. I was so ready to just, you know, hop on board with the, uh, the new timer. <laughs> so like I said, six minutes, my apology. You guys, you almost got off scot-free there, I tell you. I know this is a long time to work through as many rounds as we can of this sequence. But we are averaging about five minutes around or so, maybe a little bit longer than that for some of you. So you should be at least working on round four, and maybe you're getting into round five, possibly, depending on how quick you've been moving. Remember, as always, just as when we're in person, if something doesn't feel right, you need a modification at all or you want me to have a look at the movement, just let me know, we can definitely do that. And just try and breathe. Nice, Brian. Those are looking good. Great job. Solid effort, guys. We are almost done. We'll take a rest shortly before we hop into our still big, but not as large as this circuit. <laughs> Nice job, everybody. Looking strong, keeping that tempo. Nice. 
Nice. Awesome. Good mornings, T. Those are looking good. Great job, guys. We're coming down to our last three minutes, everybody. Almost there. Final bit of work. Remember, if you're working through our pike push-ups, try and make sure that we are keeping our ears by the biceps and it is our forehead is coming down and pressing into the floor. You might have to have your hands a little bit wider than you think that you might need. And if there's any pinching in the shoulder, you're doing normal push-ups with that same tempo. Good work guys, just breathe in, almost there. So in control, remember tougher variation of those pike push-ups does have your feet elevated. Awesome job, coming to our last reps, we have two minutes, not even. Working through those five movements, getting in our last reps. Great job. Let's take a look at our time. Oh, uh, yeah, just over 60 seconds. We have about a minute 15 before you guys are all gonna take a break. Great job everybody, still working at it. Getting in those final reps, last bit of time. Coming down last 45 seconds. Good job, everybody. Keep breathing, keep your tempo. Looking strong, last 25. In 10 seconds. Last five, in three, two, and resting. All right, guys, take a quick break, grab a drink. I will throw our second circuit up on the screen share. This will be the last one for the day. Looks like we're almost right on time. So while you're resting, I'm gonna demo quickly. <laughs> Same format, 20 minutes, as many rounds as you can. We have 60 jumping jacks, you guys all know that one. We're gonna do five, right side first of our Cossack lunge or squat paired with then five on the left side. We have 10 hand release push-ups, and we have a 20 meter, supposed to be a bear crawl, but I'm gonna show an alternative for that if you are not bear crawling. So starting, I'm not gonna demo the jacks. You guys all know that one, it's a waste of time. <laughs> Cossack lunge or squat, nice wide feet. You're gonna do all right five, and then all left, five. Following that, hand release push-ups for 10, means literally you're coming down, hands come off, press, like so. And then lastly, the bear crawl, I'm gonna give myself a little room. So if you're legitimately crawling, technically a full bear crawl is butt in the air like this. So if you're doing, 
the actual forward and backward, it's gonna be 10 steps forward, 10 steps backward, or conversely, secondary option is going to be our quadruped knee taps for I believe 15 aside. Let me check that. Yes, 15 aside. So those are kind of our two options. And let me know if you have any questions. So same thing, because this is a little bit more complex, I will put our workout up on their screen share to start. I will of course be doing it with you as well if you need any more demos, but today is not too complex on this one. All right, guys. So we are starting with 60, 60 jumping jacks. If we're ready, we're gonna start it in three, two, and go. Let's find a pace. Arms and legs should go out at the same time, not opposites. <laughs> Try and breathe. Once you have done 60, we are into that Cossack lunge or squat. You can add a dumbbell to goblet if you have available. Just five aside. Try and keep that heel locked down. You can pivot through the extended leg on the heel if you want a little bit more range. But again, that's gonna bring a greater stretch into the groin, so be gentle. Five per side. Following that, we're gonna come down to the floor for our 10 hand release push-ups. These ones start to get tough, so if you need to uh, modify the knees, please feel free. And ideally, when we're pressing, our body is one flat unit, which means we're squeezing our core, squeezing the glutes. There is no kind of worming, hip sagging happening as we press. Should we flat as a board? Once you have completed all 10 of those, we do have our bear crawl or conversely, the quadruped slash tabletop knee taps. If you're doing our bear crawl, it is 10 forwards and 10 backwards for steps. If you are doing our quadruped knee taps, 15 per side. Remember guys, if any of these movements don't feel good for you, just holler at me in the chat, we'll work through it. And if you finish all your bear chops, that was round one. We're hopping in around two. Back to 60 on the jumping jacks. Today's pretty standard, nothing complex. Nice, good job. If you are doing our quadruped knee taps, make sure that butt isn't piking too high into the air. I want those knees to be one to two inches off the ground, so barely nothing. We're back to 60 on our jacks. Awesome, good job guys. Good. We've got our classic lunges or squats after this. Nice, I see some people adding dumbbells, that's great. 
Remember in this position, I always want that knee driving and tracking in line with the toes. So we wanna make sure those toes are turned outward just slightly so they're not facing forward in that Cossack squatter lunge. Then we do have our push-ups. Some of you are motoring, holy smokes. I'm shocked by our push-up capabilities. Some of you are so strong. I'm envious. <laughs> we have lots of time to work through, guys. I would suggest just finding a steady pace to work at. If you're curious how long it has already been, five minutes. Only five minutes. <laughs> so we still have a good chunk of time to go because we are gonna get in so many rounds today. We'll probably cut it at 18 minutes, I think, which is when our session technically ends. I don't think you guys are gonna to be too hard done by if we cut it two minutes early. <laughs> Good, nice job on the caustic squats or lunges. I do really like the baby bear taps or the uh, quadruped knee taps. I think it's just, it's a hard position to control and that's why I like it. Cause I, I do find it challenging. I don't know about you guys, but keeping those hips stable can be quite the fight. You wanna think lower abdominals when you are in the baby bear position or quadruped, primarily kind of transverse, not necessarily six back, but the abdominal that goes across the front of hip to hip. Good job, and like I said, knees are staying down close to the ground, only an inch or two away. You are working on those quadruped taps. Good work, rolling through at your own pace. If you find you're getting tired of the jumping jacks, there are 60 and that's a lot. I would be willing to substitute like 10 burpees, something, something to that negotiation if you're willing. Awesome, good job, you guys looking strong. We have a furry friend, I think. <laughs> I love when your guys' paths join. I just hope they're kinder than my own. <laughs> In our Cossack squatter lunge, chest should stay up, butt is sitting back, heel is staying grounded. You can play around that heel pivot, like I said. In terms of time, we have just shy of 10 minutes remaining. About halfway done here. Remember, making sure those hands release at the bottom of our push ups. I feel like we're gonna get in lots of rounds of this circuit. 
Um, do you guys want to cut it five minutes short to do a little bit of core at the end instead? Yes, yes. Okay, all right. If you don't have your camera on, you have to message me to vote. <laughs> I have a little combo in my head that I think will be fun instead of doing a bazillion rounds of this. So that being said, when this timer hits, ooh, got the message, messages are flooding in. I'm just kidding. I like being dramatic sometimes. So when this timer, let's say hits 12 minutes as time elapsed. So that's only two more minutes. We will call it, I'll tell you guys what we're doing and we'll spend the last five minutes doing a little extra core instead. All right, Coolio. So last minute 45, everybody. Screen share is up if you need. Good job, everybody. See lots pushing through those jumping jacks. Great job, everyone. We'll throw our timer up for what is going to be our last 60 seconds of work. Last minute 15, I was close. I don't know about you guys, but my wrists are getting a little sore with all this tamping business. I broke my wrists a long time ago. They're not as strong as maybe they could be. In terms of time, last 45 seconds, guys, and we're gonna come into our core. Nice, good push everybody. Getting as much range as you can, last 30 seconds. Coming down last 15, looking strong. Final five in three. Two, and rest. Alrighty, so everybody grab a drink. Just hang out for one hot second. So I will go over what we're gonna do for core momentarily. It has a specific timing scheme that I wanna use. So I just wanna make sure that I have it correct for what I think it is. Alrighty, so yes, okay, that's what I thought. What we're gonna work through, we are going to start with, <clears throat> uh, it's going to be 25 leg lowers, no, yes. 25 leg lowers, you're gonna take 25 seconds. You're gonna do 20 leg lowers, you're gonna take 20 seconds. You're gonna do 15, 15, 10, 10, five, five, all the way down the ladder. And then you're done. How's that sound? If you hate leg lowers, they don't feel great on your low back, anything like that, please feel free to tuck your hands under your butt if you need to. I personally prefer that you don't, but if you need to. Um, conversely, you can also do dead bugs, which would yield kind of the same um, effect for the core that we're looking for. Remember, dead bugs are opposites on the arms and legs, but I'll, I'll show you that because I'm gonna do it with you guys. So coming on down to the floor. I will have our timer up on the screen share just in case you are timing your own rest because you're faster than everybody else. So like I said, your rest period is going to mimic the amount of reps that you just completed. So we're starting at 25s. We're gonna get started in three, two, and go. If you plain old just don't wanna do leg lowers, please pick any other core exercise that you like or prefer. We have 25 right off the hop. 
Remember, feet do not have to touch the ground. We want to try and keep our low back pressed flat into the floor. First one's going to be the toughest. It's a lot of volume. If you need to tuck those hands, feel free. If hip flexors are really starting to take over and you're not really feeling the core so much anymore, I would suggest going into the dead bug combo instead. It is 25 seconds rest once you have finished your 25 leg lowers. We're gonna go down by fives from here. Just hanging out and chilling when you're resting. Nice, good job everybody, looking strong. If you are doing dead bugs instead of leg lowers, you can elect to either do uh, totals or say 20 per side, whichever you choose. Good job, guys. Making sure we're taking our rests. Once you have fully completed your 25 all the way down to five, you are totally done for the day. Awesome. Good control, everybody. Good job pressing low back into the floor. Remember, I don't care if your feet touch the ground, that's not the point. The point is using your abdominals to help bring those legs back up. Nice job, everybody. Keeping it strong. Awesome, guys. Keep it up. Good control. Once you have finished all of those, you're free to go, my friends. Thanks guys, if you're hopping out, you're all done for, for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye guys, have a good day. Bye guys, thanks for hopping on. Have a lovely day. Bye, Roz. Bye, Brian. Have a good day. Tim, John, hope to see you tomorrow. I'm out. Have a good one, guys.